This video is brought to you by Amersoft and their iTube HD video downloader. So going off what I said in my initial impressions video, I hate One UI on the Tab S6, which is why I customized the launcher and the widgets to my liking to best take advantage of this device here. So we'll get into how I did that. But before we continue, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, as the algorithm likes that and will help push my videos to more people. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into how I set up my Tab S6. So to start out here, I use Nova Launcher as my home launcher. I do not like One UI and how big the icon scale, so I decided to download that. And let's jump into it here to look at some of the settings that I have tweaked. So if you go to home screen, I have um, the desktop grid at nine by nine. I also have my icon size at 85%. I have labels on and I have not touched anything else here. As for my wallpaper, I Googled like aerial forest shots and I remembered I set this for my OnePlus 6 and I liked it so much and how it you know has nice contrast and goes with my widgets and apps here. So I set that up here and I'll leave a link for it in the video description. And as for my widgets, as you can see here, I have a clock widget, a weather widget, Google search, and my Gmail widget. And yeah, I just enjoy how the widgets take advantage of the big screen here. I don't need to have all my apps laid out. I just want to have information like time, weather, Google search, and my email all at my fingertips without having to open anything. So first we'll do the Gmail widget here. Let's just find it in the widgets tab here. So Gmail, drag it over here select, I don't know, I'm just gonna put social as my inbox. And then I'm going to resize it. So it takes up kind of the middle of the display here. That seems about right. Next up, we'll do the Google search widget. So I think it's the Nova one. So I'm going to pick it here and I will resize. So it's just right above here. Does it look symmetrical? Yes, it does. Once again, this video is brought to you by Amersoft and their iTube HD video downloader. This program supports 10,000 plus video sites, most notably YouTube, Dailymotion, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also download videos three times faster than competing programs with their 3X turbo mode. HD and 4K videos are also supported for download, unlike a lot of free sites, and can be downloaded at a very high quality without too much file compression. You can also convert YouTube videos to high quality MP3s as well as transfer videos to mobile OS's like iOS and Android. Click the link in the video description to learn more. Um, next up, let's do the weather widget. So we'll go all the way to the bottom here. So it's this one. So I'll resize it here. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like and drag it right here to the top right of this conglomerate of widgets. And last up, let's do the clock widget. If this doesn't work, I'm going to have a brain aneurysm because for some reason this hasn't been working on the secondary home screen. So I'm going to drag the basic clock widget over here. We have to set the background color to white and the opacity or, or background transparency to like, I don't know, like, 18, 20%. And for some reason, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot produce the clock widget. It took me several tries by myself. Nobody asked Samsung. But as you can see here, I have it right here. You drag it. Once again, it's the basic clock widget. Opacity or background transparency is like 20%. You resize it to about this size, and this is what you get. Once again, I do enjoy this setup. This is the best for me, and I think it takes the best advantage of this display here. And yeah, it's great to have information at a glance. That's one of the great things about Android on a tablet, unlike with iOS. But thankfully, with iPadOS, we now have that widget view. But it still is nowhere close to the experience you get here with the Tab S6 and other Android tablets in general. And that about wraps things up here. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this, especially for my full review and comparison with the iPad Pro. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.